The genius boy was betrayed by his beloved, but he didn't want to awaken his past life memories, and rose up against the sky from then on. With an ordinary body, it stretches across the ages and strengthens the mountains and rivers. With the ordinary sword, create heaven and earth, and sweep away demons. Chapter 1 Great Rebirth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Outside Qingzhou City, in a quiet valley. Shen Chenfeng sat cross-legged on the ground, his eyes tightly closed, beads of sweat as big as beans oozing out from his forehead. The wisps of spiritual energy condensed on him, illuminating him faintly. At this point, he had reached a critical moment of cultivation. Lin Wanner stood nervously on the side, not even daring to breathe. After a while, Shen Chenfeng suddenly opened his eyes, and surging spiritual energy surged out of various orifices. At the same time, a python full of flames rose from behind his head. The scorching atmosphere made the entire valley dry and hot. Success Lin Wanner jumped up in surprise and quickly brought a bowl of tea. She said softly, Brother Shen, congratulations. You have finally broken through the true martial arts realm. In addition, you have a top-notch fire python martial soul at the mysterious level. This time, the crown prince of the Shen family is none other than you. Sister Lin, that's ridiculous. After I become the crown prince of the Shen family, I will propose marriage to His Majesty the Emperor. Shen Chenfeng drank the tea in one gulp and looked at Lin Wainer's gaze, full of tenderness. He and Lin Wanner have been in love for three years, with sincere affection and mutual agreement. However, due to their vastly different status, they have never dared to disclose their relationship. It wasn't until Shen Chenfeng broke through the true martial arts realm that he had some confidence. A 19-year-old true martial arts powerhouse, coupled with the status of the crown prince of the Shen family, should be worthy of Lin Wanner, the princess of the Great Qi Kingdom. However, Shen Chenfeng was fantasizing about a beautiful future when his expression suddenly froze. Lin Wanner squinted her eyes, her tender and watery eyes revealing a sinister intent. Poison. Shen Chenfeng's face changed and he looked at Lin Wanqing incredulously, feeling that the woman he deeply loved was so unfamiliar at this moment. He said, Why? Why? Lin Wanner chuckled lightly and said, Shen Chenfeng, you don't need to pee to shine. With your strength and status, how can you be worthy of this princess? So these three years, why have you? Shen Chenfeng stared incredulously, with a hint of black energy rising from his face. Of course it's for your fire python martial soul. Lin Wanner looked down upon everything and said, what I awakened was a high dot level ice based martial soul of the Xian level. However, Due to the excessive yin energy, it caused serious damage to the meridians. However, as long as I integrated the same level and fire-based martial souls of the same level, I can always solve this problem. Shen Chen Feng, it's been three years. I have been waiting for you for three years, and you have finally reached the true martial arts realm. For the past three years, I have guided you in your cultivation and accompanied you daily. Now, it is time for you to repay me. As she spoke, there was a cold gleam in Lin Wanner's eyes. Her palm lit up and she forcefully pulled out the fire python martial soul behind Shen Chenfeng's head. Ah! Shen Chenfeng let out a scream, his body trembling with pain. The martial soul is the soul of a warrior. The pain of extracting martial souls is no less than being skinned and cramped by someone. But compared to the pain in the heart, the physical pain is not even worth it. His lover who has been in love for three years has been deceiving and using him all along. Damn it. Damn it. Lin Wanner, you snake scorpion woman. Shen Chen Feng was burning with all his thoughts, and his heart was as dead as ashes. He mustered all his strength and leaped up, saying, Today, I fought with you. Bold. An old man in black suddenly appeared in front of Lin Wanner, slapping Shen Chenfeng away and coldly saying, How dare you disrespect the princess. I'll kill you now. That's enough. 
Lin Wan er played with the fire python martial soul in her palm and said, Old you, the martial soul has already been mastered. There is no need to make any extra mistakes. Killing him here will cause a lot of trouble. However, the death penalty is inevitable, and the life penalty is inevitable. Destroying his elixir field will make him a useless person for his entire life, and he will never be able to cultivate. Yes. Old Yu punched Chin Chin Fong in the abdomen. Ah. Lin Wanner, if I don't die, I will have you repay me with blood. Chin Chin Fong let out a heart-wrenching cry, then fell to the ground with a thud, and there was no more movement. Let's go. Lin Wanner put away her martial soul and didn't even glance at Shin Chin Fong, leaving the valley with Old Yu. What they didn't see was a phantom suddenly rising from Shin Chin Fong's body. This phantom is seven times similar to Shin Chin Fong, but with sword like eyes and a majestic face. This phantom took a deep look at Lin Wanner's back and then disappeared into Shin Chin Fong's body. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, Tianxian Sect, Ancestral Pavilion. The mysterious and mysterious real person, who claimed to be the world's number one divine calculation, suddenly opened his eyes and spat out a mouthful of blood. Immediately after, there were continuous bloodstains overflowing from his ears, nose, and mouth. But he ignored these injuries and shouted loudly outside, Someone, come quickly. Ancestor. The heavenly Xuanzong master walked into the room and was surprised to see the appearance of Xuanji Immortal. He quickly took out a spiritual pill from his pocket and fed it to Xuanji Immortal, saying, Ancestor, are you okay? Don't bother me. Xuanji Immortal pushed Xientian Patriarch aside and said, I have spent a thousand years of cultivation, peering through the heavenly machine. In Qingzhou city of the Great Qi Kingdom, there is a great power to reincarnate and be reborn. This person's name is Xin Chen Feng. Anyway, we must send him to my Xiantian sect. Go, go. Master Xuantian's body trembled and he said, Don't worry, ancestor. I will definitely bring this person to our Xiantian sect. Hurry up, this is a major event of our Xiantian sect, and we must not delay it. After the Xuanji immortal finished explaining, he closed his eyes and regained his composure. Xientian sect leader dared not disturb and bowed to Xuanji immortal before turning around and leaving the ancestral pavilion. Master. Is my ancestor okay? Upon seeing the leader come out, several elders of the Xientian sect immediately gathered around. Master Xientian glanced at several people with a helpless expression and said, My ancestors have ordered me to go to Qingzhou City in the Great Qi Kingdom and bring a young man named Xin Chen Feng into our Xientian sect. During these days when I am not here, please take care of me. Upon hearing these words, the faces of the elders changed wildly. Master, absolutely not. Nowadays, the splitting heaven demon sect is watching closely. If you leave, the heavenly Xuanzong will be in danger. Moreover, our ancestors' cultivation has gone astray, and the deadline is approaching. We need to analyze rationally. Over the years, our ancestors have issued countless orders, but none of them are accurate. Despite consuming countless human resources, there has been no harvest. Watching the excited expressions of the elders, Master Xientian deeply understood. Ten years ago, Master Xuanji ordered the birth of a precious treasure in the East China Sea. He felt the East China Sea from afar, squatting for a full year without a fart. Five years ago, Immortal Xuanji ordered that divine beasts appear on the cliff. He traveled thousands of miles and searched the entire cliff, only to find a local dog. I don't know how much Xientian sect leader has done such absurd things. However, we cannot ignore our ancestors' orders. Master Xientian sighed, feeling somewhat helpless. Master, what's the difficulty of this? An immortal elder pondered and said, Isn't it just bringing a young man into my Xientian sect? It's such a simple matter, why don't I go on behalf of the sect leader? That's great. Master Xuantian's face lit up with joy and he said, This time, I'll trouble Elder Sunday. 
Master, you're welcome. This is my responsibility. Elder Sun shook his head and said, I hope this Shen Chen Feng is a normal person, not just like the fool he received last time. What about killing you in Chapter 2? You are listening at NovelFull.Audio Qingzhou City, Shen Family Who am I? Where is this? Shen Chen Feng sat up from the bed, his eyes full of confusion. I am the Heavenly Sword Emperor, who oppresses the four seas and the eight wastelands in the world. However, I was harmed by a petty servant and died under the heavenly calamity. I am the eldest son of the Shen family. I was deceived and framed by Lin Wanner, who took away my martial soul and shattered my Dantian. Shen Chinfeng's headache was splitting as his memories from two lifetimes gradually merged. His eyes gradually brightened and he muttered to himself, I remember. I am Shen Chinfeng, the Emperor of the Sky Sword, and also the eldest son of the Shen family. At this point, Shen Chinfeng has regained his memory. But in the next moment, his heart was engulfed by raging anger. Lin Wanner, you bitch. I am truly sincere to you and treat you as my lifelong love. However, you have used my emotions to take away my martial soul and destroy my elixir field. However, I still want to thank you. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't have awakened the memories of the previous life. Looking through the memories in his mind, Shen Chenfeng's heart was cut like a knife. In his previous life, he dominated the world and was revered as the Heavenly Sky Sword Emperor. But I don't want to be betrayed by my lifelong love and die tragically in the midst of the calamity. In this life, he was deceived by his beloved woman, taking away his martial soul and destroying his Dantian. He has been trapped in love for two generations. But this time, he survived by chance. Although he is already a useless person, for the Sky Sword Emperor, who oppresses the world, these are not a problem at all. Trembling When my emperor recovers his cultivation, Lin Wanner, I want you to repay me with blood. And Li Muyu, if you take everything from me, I will make you pay back twice as much. Shen Chen Feng took a deep breath and his gaze became profound. Feng, you're awake. As the door was pushed open, a beautiful woman in palace attire walked in. Her eyes were slightly red, indicating that she had just cried, and she said, Feng, how are you feeling now? Do you still feel pain? Mother, it's okay. Seeing Su Lingyun's anxious and worried face, Shen Chenfeng's heart warmed. In his previous life, he had no father or mother, and was lonely and lonely. In this life, his parents treat him as their own, and he cherishes this hard dot earned emotion. It's good if it doesn't hurt. Su Lingyun wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes without leaving a trace and said, Feng, tell your mother. Who exactly is it that has dealt such a cruel blow to you? Although our Shen family's strength is weak, your mother will definitely not let him go. Mother, that person has high strength, and I haven't seen his face clearly either. Moreover, my mother doesn't have to be too upset either. If my cultivation is ruined, I will return from practicing again. Shen Chen Feng shook his head. Although the Shen family was the first aristocratic family in Qingzhou City, compared to the royal family of Daki Kingdom, it was no different from using eggs to touch stones. He doesn't want to implicate the entire Shen family because of his own situation. Moreover, this is his personal grudge against Lin Wanner. This grudge, he wants to solve it himself, without the need for anyone else to intervene. However, as Su Lingyun listened to Shen Chenfeng's words, the pain in the center of his eyes grew even more intense, and tears welled up in the corners of his eyes. Broken Dan Tian is equivalent to cutting off the path of martial arts cultivation. He still wants to practice again. It seems that this incident had a huge impact on Shen Chenfeng, and he started talking nonsense. At the same time, the indecisive things in her heart were also decided. Now that the Shen family can no longer accommodate us, we will set off tomorrow to return to the Su family. Su Lingyun sighed and said, Although my mother's status in the Su family is not high, the Su family is not as scheming as the Shen family. As long as you are safe, 
my mother will rest assured in this life. Can't accommodate it, go back to the Su family. Shen Qinfeng's eyes were full of surprise, and he didn't understand what was going on. At this moment, a young man wearing a green robe burst in with a group of guards. Shen Lang, what are you doing? Su Lingyun's face slightly changed and she instinctively stood in front of the bed. So it's the eldest lady. Shen Lang looked at Shen Qinfeng on the bed with a cold smile on his lips and said, According to the clan rules, Shen family disciples who have not awakened their martial souls before the age of twenty will be expelled from the family and exiled to the family industry to live an ordinary life. Today, I am ordered to enforce the clan rules and expel Shen Chen Feng from the Shen family. The master is not here, whose command did you follow? Su Lingyun's face turned pale as he said, Moreover, Feng Er is only nineteen years old this year and not yet twenty years old. Why did you drive him out of the Shen family? Madam, why deceive yourself? Shen Lang sneered and said, Shen Chenfeng's martial soul has been destroyed, his elixir field has been abandoned, and he will never have the chance to become a martial artist again in this life. Staying in the Shen family is also a waste of food. It's better to get out of here early to avoid unnecessary expenses. But, although he had decided to leave the Shen family, Su Lingyun looked at Shen Qinfeng's pale face and said, Now that Feng Er's serious injury has not healed, Shen Lang, if you allow us another two days, we will definitely leave the Shen family. No way. Shen Lang's face turned cold and he said, Shen family, don't raise trash. And my mother's order is that Shen Qinfeng must immediately get out of the Shen family. Speaking, Shen Lang strode forward and walked straight toward Shen Qinfeng. Wait a minute. A hint of determination flashed on Su Lingyun's face. He opened his arms and stood in front of Shen Lang and the others with his weak body, saying, Shen Lang, he's your big brother. I don't have this useless brother. A hint of resentment flashed in Shen Lang's eyes and he said, Madam, for the sake of my father, I respectfully call you Madam. Now, please step aside. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite. Su Lingyun's delicate body trembled, appearing so weak and powerless in front of several strong men. But she gritted her silver teeth tightly and stood firmly in front of the sinking wind bed, saying, Today, none of you want to stir the wind. Okay, great. Shen Lang squinted his eyes, with a hint of coldness flashing in his eyes, and said, If you don't want face, then don't blame me for not showing mercy. After speaking, Shen Lang raised his right hand and shouted wildly with a palm. The fierce sound of breaking through the air made everyone's faces slightly change. As a warrior on the second level of the Kaiyuan realm, a single palm strike is enough to pierce through the door panel, let alone a flesh and blood body. If his palm falls on Su Lingyun's face, he will definitely tear the other person apart. Su Lingyun also seemed to be intimidated by the momentum and closed his eyes in fear. Just at this moment, a figure suddenly jumped up from the bed, like lightning. He arrived first and slammed his palm hard on Shen Lang's face. Pop! The loud slapping sound stunned everyone for a moment. Shen Lang even covered his swollen and red face, his expression stunned. Immediately, a raging anger rose in his eyes and he said, Shen Chen Feng, how dare you, you trash. Hit me. Hit you. Shen Chen Feng usually touches Shen Lang, with a hint of coldness all over his body. He can accept being betrayed by a woman, or he can accept having his martial soul taken away and his dantian deposed. However, his parents are his only bottom line. Moreover, just now Shen Lang made a move without mercy. If this slap is solid, it will definitely take half of Su Lingyun's life. At this thought, Shen Chenfeng's eyes were filled with a cold light. Something that doesn't know what to do, not to mention hitting you, but killing you. So what about you? Chapter 3 Ancestral Worship Ceremony You are listening at NovelFull.audio Kill me, just you. Shen Lang hesitated for a moment, then seemed to hear a big joke. He looked up and laughed wildly, saying, Ha ha ha, Shen Chen Feng, 
you're laughing me to death. Do you think you're still the first genius of the Shin family? I'll tell you, you're just a waste now, with your martial soul destroyed and your elixir field destroyed. In your current situation, I can crush you with just one finger. Speaking, Shen Lang actually raised a finger and pointed towards Shen Chen Feng. However, he only raised his finger halfway, and a fierce piercing sound echoed in his ear once again. Pop! Another loud slap in the face. The power was so great that Shen Lang spun twice in place. In an instant, the whole scene fell silent. A group of guards turned pale, and Su Lingyun's eyes widened in shock. How could this be possible? Isn't Shen Chen Feng already abandoned? How could he still be so strong? Even if my martial soul is destroyed and my elixir field is abandoned, what will happen? Shen Chen Feng casually withdrew his right hand, his gaze even more indifferent, and said, It's as easy as flipping a palm to kill you. Okay, Shen Chen Feng, you're doing well. Today I want to see if it's me killing you or you killing me. Being slapped twice by Shen Chen Feng, Shen Lang's eyes were filled with anger. He let out a loud roar, and a phantom wolf tooth stick rose from behind his head, fiercely smashing it towards Shen Chen Feng. Yellow level lower level martial soul, wolf fawn. Although it is the lowest level of martial soul, it is a martial soul with impressive power. With this stroke, there is a force of over 200 pounds. Be careful. Seeing the wolf tooth stick, Su Lingyun screamed nervously. Shen Lang also seemed to see Shen Chen Feng being flattened and shouted excitedly, Shen Chen Feng, you go die for me. Shen Chen Feng squinted his eyes, and a cold light suddenly appeared in them. He waved his index finger in his right hand, although his strength was not obvious, it was like a sharp sword, containing a sharp aura. Bang! The seemingly fierce wolf tooth stick touched Shen Chen Feng's index finger and instantly shattered like an illusion. Immediately after, Shen Chen Feng continued to castrate, his fingers as fast as the wind, and he took Shen Lang's throat. The wind. At this critical moment, Su Lingyun's voice came from behind. Shen Chenfeng's heart trembled, he put away his index finger, changed to a fist, and fiercely slammed it into Shen Lang's chest. Shen Lang let out a muffled groan, his body like a sandbag, flew straight out of the door, and then slammed heavily on the ground, spitting out a handful of blood. Fifth young master. How are you, are you okay? A group of guards were shocked and surrounded Shen Lang. Shen Lang covered his chest and looked incredulously at Shen Chen Feng inside the room, his face turning pale. Just now, death is so close. If it weren't for Shen Chen Feng suddenly retracting his fingers, he might have died. Today, for the sake of my mother, I'll spare your life. Next time, don't blame me for being impolite. Get lost. Shen Chen Feng gave Shen Lang a cold glance and then slammed the door shut. Fifth young master, what should we do now? The guards looked at each other, somewhat indecisive. Let's go. Shen Lang stood up from the ground, patted the dust on his body, and said coldly, although I am not a match for Shen Chen Feng, when he first started, he did not use any vitality or use his martial soul. It seems that the rumors are mostly true, and Shen Chen Feng has really been defeated. Since that's the case, let's settle today's matter like this, a guard asked. Today, let him go for now. Shen Lang snorted, his eyes showing a deep dot seated hatred, and said, tomorrow's ancestor worship ceremony, I will make him suffer from ruin. Also, none of you are allowed to spread today's matter. Meanwhile, inside the room. Feng, are you okay? Su Lingyun looked at Shen Chen Feng with concern and said with heartache, Why are you fighting against Shen Lang? Shen Lang dares to attack his mother, how can I bear it? Shen Chen Feng shook his head and said, But don't worry, mother. Although I am deposed, I have the foundation to practice martial arts all year round. Shen Lang has long been drained of his body by alcohol and lust, and he is not my match at all. Shen Lang is nothing but there are many people in the second room and your father is not here. 
Su Lingyun suddenly sighed and said, Forget it, once the ancestor worship ceremony is over tomorrow, we will leave the Shen family. The second room should not trouble you again. Why are you leaving? Shen Chenfeng comforted the nervous Su Lingyun and said, Mother, isn't it just awakening the martial soul? Actually, it's not very difficult. I will definitely awaken tomorrow. Awakening your martial soul is not very difficult. But your martial soul has been destroyed, and it is extremely difficult to awaken a second martial soul. Moreover, even if your elixir field is deposed, what is the use of awakening your martial soul? Su Lingyun said so much in one breath, suddenly feeling a bit regretful, afraid of stimulating Shen Chenfeng again. Shen Chenfeng smiled calmly and said, not to mention the second martial soul, but the tenth or hundreds of martial souls. It's not a big deal for the child. Moreover, it's not difficult to reshape the elixir field. However, I'm a bit tired today. My mother wants me to rest well. Okay, you can rest for now. But Fong, don't worry about anything. Whether you can cultivate or not, my mother won't let anyone hurt you. Su Lingyun was filled with regret in her heart. She felt that her recent words had stimulated Shen Chen Fong and made him start talking nonsense again. But regret was of no use. She comforted Shen Chen Fong a few words before leaving the room. Until Su Lingyun left, Shen Chen Fong stood up and looked at himself in the bronze mirror. He has a tall and straight figure, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes. Although not handsome, standing there exudes a commanding aura. In this world, martial arts are revered. If you don't want to be looked down upon by others or trampled on by others, only by practicing martial arts can you control your own destiny. This body is too weak, I must become stronger as soon as possible. Whether it's for revenge or to protect my parents, I must become stronger. Firstly, it is necessary to awaken the martial soul. I cannot be kicked out of the Shen family, nor can I disappoint my parents. Martial soul is a concrete manifestation of the power of the soul. According to their power, they can be divided into four levels. Heaven, Earth, Xian, and Huang. Each level is further divided into three levels. Upper, Middle, and Lower. The stronger the soul power of a warrior, the stronger the awakened soul, and the more terrifying the power. In the Linguo continent, this is the standard for measuring a warrior's talent. But in Shen Chenfeng's opinion, this is simply a chicken rib. In the early stages of martial arts cultivation, the assistance of martial souls is limited. After the martial artist reaches a high level of cultivation, he can condense the Dharma, heaven, and earth, and his martial soul has no place to be used. Awakening the martial soul is simply a waste of soul power. However, Shen Chenfeng doesn't care about this soul power. After his memory awakened, although he did not have the cultivation from the previous life, the power of his soul was still present. Awakening a martial soul, not to mention ten or hundreds of paths, is also an easy task. People compete for a breath, and a tree lives with a skin. Since Shen Chenfeng agreed to his mother, he would definitely awaken his martial soul. And what he awakens must be the strongest martial soul. Chapter 4 Awakening Martial Soul You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day At dawn, the Shen family began to make arrangements. The ancestor worship ceremony is an annual event of the Shen family. In addition to worshipping ancestors and blessing the family's safety, the awakening of martial souls has always been a topic of discussion among people. Especially in recent years, the Shen family has produced many geniuses. The eldest young master Shen Chenfeng, the second young master Shen Changqing, and the seventh young master Shen Kongwen are all talented and have awakened a mysterious level martial soul, known as the three heroes of the Shen family. Especially Shen Chenfeng, at a young age, has cultivated to the realm of true martial arts. The crown prince of the Shen family is none other than him. However, unexpected circumstances arose. As the crown prince of the Shen family approached, Shen Chenfeng was suddenly attacked by a mysterious person and became a useless person. 
It can't help but make people sigh. A generation of Tianjiao, surprisingly ended up like this. However, today there were rumors circulating that Shen Qinfeng was unwilling to let his martial soul be deposed and even participated in the ancestor worship ceremony, wanting to awaken his second martial soul. Upon hearing this news, the entire Shen family was caused a sensation. Before the ancestor worship ceremony began, there were already crowds on the Shen family square. Even those disciples who have already awakened their martial souls rushed over early. Hi, have you heard about it? Shen Chen Feng, surprisingly, wants to awaken the second martial soul. I admit that Shen Chen Feng is truly talented, and I don't think so. But what is the martial soul? It's the soul of a warrior, isn't it that you can awaken as soon as you want? If I remember correctly, Shen Chen Feng is almost twenty now, right? If you cannot awaken your martial soul today, you will be exiled into the family industry and forever be an ordinary person. Ha ha ha, the more you talk, the more excited I become. I really want to see what kind of expression the first genius had when he was expelled from the family. The entire square was chaotic, with almost everyone discussing Shen Chen Feng. Look quickly. Shen Chen Feng is here. I don't know who shouted, but the chaotic square just now instantly quieted down. Thousands of people followed the sound in unison, and at the entrance of the square, a tall and straight young man with sword eyebrows and stars was slowly approaching. Su Lingyun frowned and instinctively stood in front of Shen Chen Feng. Mother, I'm fine. Shen Chen Feng smiled calmly and walked directly into the square, facing the gaze of thousands of people. Seeing this scene, everyone felt a chill in their hearts. No matter what Shen Chen Feng did, his face remained unchanged under the gaze of thousands of people. With this demeanor alone, he couldn't help but be admired. If it were me, being watched by thousands of people, I would probably have already panicked. Oh, who am I, isn't this the Shen Grand Prince who awakened the Xian. level top. grade martial soul and was hailed as the first genius of the Shen family back then? At that moment, a strange and sinister voice sounded, and Shen Lang walked out of the crowd. He looked at Shen Chen Feng with resentment, his cheeks still slightly red to this day. Why, do you still want to have a fight with me? Shen Chen Feng stopped and looked at Shen Lang with a smile on his face, saying, Those two slaps yesterday didn't make you remember long enough, and your face doesn't hurt anymore. Upon hearing these words, Shen Lang's face changed wildly. The people on the square instantly exploded. Yesterday. Two slaps. Is your face no longer painful? These key words are linked together, immediately making people guess eight or nine without leaving ten. Damn it, did I hear you right? Yesterday, Shen Lang and Shen Chen Feng had a fight, and listening, it seems that Shen Lang still lost. How could it be? Isn't Shen Chen Feng abandoned? No wonder, Shen Lang's face turned red. I thought he was drinking, but to my surprise, he was beaten by Shen Chen Feng. Listening to the voices around him, Shen Lang felt ashamed and wanted to find a crack in the ground to drill. I originally wanted to see Shen Chen Feng's joke, but I ended up making a big joke out of myself. Damn it! Shen Lang stared at Shen Chen Feng intently, his eyes flushed with red. If this revenge is not avenged, it's not Shen Lang. That's enough. A dignified old man walked up to the altar and his gaze swept over the crowd with dignity. Anyone who has been swept by his gaze seems to have been pierced by the gaze of an old man, and they can't help but lower their heads, afraid to look at each other. This is the elder of the Shen family, Shen Yuan. The ancestral worship ceremony is usually held by the head of the family, Shen Boyang. This time Shen Boyang went out but did not return, he was presided over by the elder Shen Yuan. Shen Yuan stood on the altar, looking down at the dark crowd below, and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. The Shen family does not force their members to participate in the grand ceremony. So every time there is an ancestor worship ceremony, the people who come are those who want to awaken their martial souls. However, this time, because of one Shen Chen Feng, 
the entire Shen family unexpectedly came in 80% at once. Good guy. Speaking of Shen Chen Feng, Shen Yuan's heart was filled with regret. From a young age, he had extraordinary talents and awakened a high dot level martial soul, which the entire family had high hopes for. If there are no accidents, one can definitely become a strong generation in the future. Unfortunately, Shen Yuan shook his head, abandoned his distractions, and began to preside over the ancestral worship ceremony. The ancestral worship ceremony of the Shen family is very unique, and there is no need for future generations to worship. As long as one silently recites in their heart, sincerity will bring spirit. Shen Chenfeng stood in the crowd, looking up at the statue of the ancestors of the Shen family in the center of the square. That is a middle dot aged man wearing armor, with a national face and a somewhat majestic expression. He rode a warhorse and raised his sword to the sky, as if about to charge into battle. In fact, the ancestors of the Shen family were indeed generals and founding fathers of the great Qi dynasty. However, these are all past events. As the ancestor worship ceremony began, the ancestral statues shone with light, gradually forming halos that enveloped the entire square in an instant. This is. Shen Chenfeng felt a refreshing sensation and immediately understood what was going on. This is the meditation formation. Whenever shrouded in a formation, one can abandon distractions and remain calm, which can indeed increase the chance of awakening the martial soul. After a stick of incense. The light has faded away, and the ancestral worship ceremony has been completed. Next, I announce that the martial soul awakens and the ceremony begins. Shen Yuan glanced at Shen Chenfeng below, then raised his voice and said, but any disciple who has not awakened their martial soul can come on stage and awaken their martial soul. Once their martial soul awakens, they can become a family warrior, and the family will receive great rewards. Who will come first, you guys? As the sound fell, several disciples immediately took the stage and placed their palms on a black martial soul stone. These are young people who have just reached adulthood, unable to resist their curiosity and eager to see what kind of martial soul they have awakened. Buzz. A series of soft noises. Out of the seven disciples, four awakened their martial souls. Among them, three awakened ordinary lower-level martial souls, and one awakened middle-level yellow-level martial souls. Not bad Shen Yuan nodded satisfied and turned to several disciples who had failed to awaken, saying, don't lose heart. Work hard this year to cultivate, and you will definitely awaken next year. Yes. Several disciples walked down the altar, and a few more disciples stepped forward. After a stick of incense. Most of the disciples have already attended the ceremony, leaving only a few people. Shen Chen Feng, what are you waiting for? At this moment, Shen Lang jumped out again. He glared fiercely at Shen Chen Feng, as if wanting to eat him and said, now that everyone is gone, why are you still staring at him? Do you know you're scared when you're on the brink of death? Chapter 5, Second Martial Soul You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Shen Chen Feng, hurry up. It's getting late, we're all waiting to see your second martial soul. Young Master Shen, are you really afraid as Shen Lang said? Seeing Shen Lang causing trouble again, everyone around him started to cheer up. They came here originally to see Shen Chen Feng embarrass himself. After waiting for such a long time, I have become a bit impatient. Shen Chen Feng's expression was cold and unaffected by his words, and he said, the emperor is not in a hurry. What is the eunuch in a hurry for? Shen Lang hesitated for a moment, then quickly realized that his nose was almost crooked. He pointed at Shen Chen Feng and shouted sternly, Shen Chen Feng, how dare you call me a eunuch? That's enough. As the scene gradually spiraled out of control, Shen Yuan frowned and a surging momentum rose from his body, instantly enveloping the entire square. In an instant, everyone suppressed their emotions and instinctively closed their mouths. Shen Chen Feng Seeing everyone shut up, Shen Yuan withdrew his momentum and said, once you're over twenty years old, you can't awaken your martial soul anymore. 
This is your last chance, so give it a try. The wind. Su Lingyun pushed Shen Chenfeng and encouraged, Go ahead, no matter what the outcome is, Mom will stand on your side. Shen Chenfeng looked at Su Lingyun, who was full of expectations, and then at Shen Lang, who seemed to be about to eat him. It's also good. He nodded and slowly walked up to the altar under the gaze of everyone. Shen Chenfeng first nodded at Shen Yuan, then extended his right hand and placed it on the black soul stone. Quiet. A deathly silence. Everyone stared intently at the tall figure on the altar, not even daring to breathe. One second. Two seconds. Decades of seconds have passed, and the black soul stone has shown no response. Failed. Shen Chen Feng, he failed to awaken his martial soul. Upon seeing this scene, Shen Lang, who had been waiting for the opportunity to move, immediately jumped out and pointed at Shen Chen Feng, shouting wildly. Ha ha ha, I'll just say it. The second martial soul, isn't it that you can awaken by saying, awaken, dot. Unfortunately, a generation of Tianjiao has fallen from grace. If you ask me, he deserves it. Waste, there should be waste consciousness, why bother? If I had accepted my fate earlier and left the Shen family, it would have been better to be an ordinary person. How could it have been so embarrassing to make such a scene? In the past, what glory! Now, he also has today. The crowd exploded with a loud roar, followed by sighs of regret and mockery. Previously, Shen Chen Feng, as the first genius of the Shen family, was sought after by countless people. Now that he fell from the altar, he was immediately despised by others. Every disciple of the Shen family looked at Shen Chen Feng with disdainful eyes and spoke harsh words. It seems like this, very fulfilling. Once the first genius, now the first scrap of wood. Unfortunately. Shen Yuan looked at the lonely figure and shook his head secretly. Before this, he had expected it. But unfortunately. Among the crowd, only Su Lingyun's eyes were filled with heartache. Regardless of whether Shen Chenfeng awakens his martial soul or not, he will always be the son of Su Lingyun. What are you all staring at? As he watched the sarcasm and laughter grow louder, Shen Lang thought the time had come. A hint of malice flashed in his eyes, and he shouted in a cold voice, according to clan rules, disciples of the Shen family who fail to awaken their martial souls before the age of twenty will be expelled from the family and exiled to the family property. Today, Shen Chen Feng failed to awaken his martial soul. Where are the left and right guards? Take this waste and drive it out of the Shen family. A few lackey guards rushed out from behind Shen Lang and rushed towards Shen Chen Feng with a fierce smile. Stop me. Su Lingyun's figure moved and stood in front of several guards, saying, Shen Lang, to expel the family, you must have the master give orders. You can't be the master of the Shen family yet. Madam, yesterday you said that Shen Chen Feng is not yet twenty years old and there is still one chance to awaken his martial soul. I did not embarrass you. But now that Shen Chen Feng's awakening has failed, what excuse do you have? Shen Lang sneered and said, Today, I will follow the clan rules. Not to mention being the eldest lady, even if the head of the family comes, it will be difficult for me to handle it. What are you waiting for? Drive that useless Shen Chen Feng out of the Shen family for me. Shen Lang roared angrily, determined to drive Shen Chen Feng to death. Stop it. Su Lingyun still wanted to stop, but was grabbed by several female disciples with a smile on their arms. Unfortunately, she had no cultivation and couldn't break free from the palms of several female disciples. She could only watch as several guards rushed toward Shen Chen Feng. Shen Chen Feng, aren't you very arrogant? Why aren't you crazy now? When you slapped me in the face and made me embarrass myself in public, did you ever think that you also have today? You wait. When you are expelled from the Shen family, I will insist that you cannot survive or die. As he watched several guards return to the altar, Shen Lang's excited features twisted, as if he had already seen the scene of stepping on Shen Chen Feng and begging for mercy. 
However, at this moment, Shen Qinfeng withdrew his palm crest on the martial soul stone and looked at Shen Yuan not far away, saying, Elder, I wonder which martial soul is the strongest in this world. Shen Yuan hesitated for a moment and then said, Martial soul, regardless of its form, is the strongest at the heavenly level. Heavenly level martial soul. Shen Qinfeng was chewing a few words, and at this moment, several guards had already arrived by his side. Young master, we have also been ordered to act, please don't blame us, said the leading guard. What's the point with this waste fee? A hint of malice flashed in Shen Lang's eyes and he said in a cruel voice, hurry up and catch this trash, and drive me out of the Shen family. Drive out the Shen family. Drive out the Shen family. I don't know if it was a commotion or if there was really any grudge against Shen Chen Feng, but many members of the tribe were shouting loudly. Several guards exchanged a glance and rushed toward Shen Chen Feng. Suddenly, the spiritual energy between heaven and earth suddenly fluctuated, like a shark smelling blood, crazily converging towards the sinking wind, forming a terrifying tornado. Immediately after, Shen Chen Feng's mind shone brightly. A lacquered black ancient sword rose from the light, with a terrifying sword aura soaring upwards, as if piercing through the sky, tearing apart the dark clouds within a radius of ten miles, revealing the blue sky. And ten miles away, there are dense clouds, lightning and thunder. Everyone stared absent-mindedly at the lacquered black ancient sword behind Shen Chenfeng's head, one by one like statues, frozen in place. This sword changes the color of the wind and clouds. This sword, the sun and moon have no radiance. Although this pitch-black divine sword is only illusory, the terrifying sword intent seems to be turning into substance, slashing at everyone present. This. Shen Lang stared blankly at the pitch-black divine sword, his mouth wide open in shock, wanting to say something, but he couldn't make any sound. It's a martial soul. Su Lingyun's face turned red with excitement, not even realizing that Shen Chen Feng had succeeded. He really awakened the second martial soul. Chapter 6 The Strongest Martial Soul You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. This, this, this. How could it be possible? Shen Chen Feng. Did he really succeed? The disciples of the Shen family, who had just spoken coldly, were now looking at the black ancient sword behind Shen Chenfeng's head, as if petrified. Shen Lang felt as if he had lost his soul, his eyes wandering and his face pale. Second Martial Soul Shen Chenfeng, surprisingly, has truly awakened the second martial soul. Moreover, this black ancient sword has a towering aura, tearing through the clouds and emitting terrifying celestial phenomena. Its grade is definitely not low. Even more powerful than Shen Chenfeng's former fire python martial soul. Sure enough. Just as everyone was secretly speculating, Shen Yuanxiang suppressed his excited expression and confidently said, No mistake, it's definitely a heavenly level martial soul that can trigger celestial anomalies. Upon hearing these words, everyone's hearts trembled uncontrollably. Although they had anticipated it for a long time, when Shen Yuan said these words, his heart couldn't stop trembling. Heavenly Level Martial Soul The Legendary Heavenly Martial Soul In small places like Qingzhou City, as long as one can awaken the mysterious level martial soul, it is enough to be called a genius and trained by major families. The prefecture level martial soul is even rarer in a hundred years. In the hundreds of years of history of Qingzhou City, there are only three top-notch geniuses who have awakened their prefecture-level martial souls, and each one is a prominent figure in the Great Qi Kingdom. As for the heavenly-level martial soul, it only exists in legends. Not to mention Qingzhou City, there has only been one person in the entire Daki Kingdom for hundreds of years. That is the current Great Enlightenment Lord. No one expected that Shen Qinfeng, who had already fallen from the altar, would turn around and awaken the legendary Tianji martial soul. In an instant, everyone's gaze toward Shen Chen Feng immediately changed. The disciples who had just humiliated Shen Chen Feng had eyes full of fear. 
Shen Lang gritted his teeth and wished he could swallow Shen Qinfeng alive. He knew that the plan to drive Shen Qinfeng out of the Shen family today and then take the opportunity to humiliate him was completely ruined. However, they had not yet recovered from their shock, and a round voice once again deeply shook them. Heavenly quality. I didn't expect such a peerless genius to appear in Qingzhou City. Ha ha ha, Elder Shen Yuan, congratulations. Shadow after shadow suddenly appeared on the wall of the Shen family. These are all the strong men of Qingzhou City, attracted by the illusion of sword energy soaring to the sky. Led by a middle-aged man in a white robe, he had a refined expression, holding a painting fan and exuding a strong scholarly aura. Although he may seem like a scholar, the people around him have great respect for him. This person is the lord of Qingzhou City, Bai Liancheng. At the same time, he is also the top expert in Qingzhou City and has reached the peak of true martial arts cultivation. So it's the lord of White City. Shen Yuan dared not neglect and quickly welcomed him, exclaiming excitedly, Lord Bai, what you just said. Is really top dot notch. I can't be wrong. Bai Liancheng nodded and said, although I haven't seen any heavenly level martial souls, according to the records in the book, any heavenly level martial souls can cause celestial and celestial anomalies. Among them, heavenly level lower level martial souls can cover an area of one mile. Heavenly level middle level martial souls can cover an area of five miles. The vision that had just risen from the Shen family enveloped the city of Qingzhou for ten miles. This kind of anomaly is definitely top dot notch. Upon hearing this, everyone took a deep breath of air. Heavenly Grade, the strongest martial soul. You should know that even the current Great Enlightenment Lord is only a low dot level martial soul at the heavenly level. Shen Qinfeng's awakening of the heavenly level high level martial soul indicates that in the future, he will be even more powerful than the Great Qi Lord. Ha ha ha, Elder Shen, don't play tricks anymore. Let me see, who exactly is the handsome talent of your Shen family? They have awakened such a powerful martial soul. Bai Liancheng stretched his neck and looked towards the square. Just now, the sword energy surged into the sky, creating a celestial anomaly that caused a sensation throughout Qingzhou City. However, such an anomaly lasted only a few seconds before disappearing. By the time Bai Liancheng and others arrived, the vision had already disappeared without a trace. So, Bai Liancheng doesn't know who awakened the heavenly level martial soul. When he looked at the young man on the altar with hopeful eyes, he couldn't help but freeze. Elder Shen Bai Liancheng hesitated and turned his head to look at Shen Yuan beside him, saying, it shouldn't be Shen Qinfeng, the eldest son of the Shen family, who just awakened the heavenly level martial soul. Shen Yuan seemed to remember something, and his face changed. He nodded and sighed lightly, not bad, it's Shen Qinfeng. I see, but it's a pity. Bai Liancheng looked at Shen Qinfeng with pity, then turned around and left. The strong men of Qingzhou City also sighed and stood up to leave. The entire Shen family courtyard suddenly became deserted. At first, people didn't quite understand why Bai Liancheng and others just left like this. But gradually, someone reacted. Shen Qinfeng was seriously injured by a mysterious person's surprise attack. Not only the martial soul has been destroyed, but also the elixir field has been destroyed. If Dantian is deposed, he will have no chance of becoming a martial artist for life. This is common knowledge throughout the entire Lingwu continent, but people have just been stunned by the heavenly martial soul and have completely forgotten this. At this moment, those disciples of the Shen family no longer looked in awe at Shen Qinfeng, but instead filled with mockery and pity. What about the heavenly martial soul? The Dantian has been destroyed and cannot be cultivated. It will ultimately be a waste. God doesn't have eyes, why would a heavenly level martial soul awaken on a useless person? Amidst the laughter and mockery in the sky, Shen Lang's voice appeared particularly piercing. He looked up and laughed wildly, his expression full of exaggeration, and said, Master Shen, you are truly the first genius in Qingzhou City. Even if you are a waste, 
you must awaken your heavenly level martial soul and become the strongest waste. What if Dan Tian is abandoned? Shen Chenfeng narrowed his eyes, his gaze gradually becoming cold and sharp, and said, Isn't it easy to kill you? You. Shen Lang was furious and wanted to say something. That's enough. Shen Yuan appeared on the altar and gave Shen Lang a fierce glare. Immediately, he looked at Shen Chenfeng with a hint of regret in his eyes and said, Shen Chenfeng, you awaken your martial soul and will not be expelled from your family. But your elixir field has been abandoned, and you have no chance of becoming a martial artist in this life. I advise you to leave the Shen family and become an ordinary person, and enjoy a lifetime of glory. Thank you very much for your kindness, Elder. Shen Chenfeng shook his head and said, however, I won't leave the Shen family. Since that's the case, I won't advise anymore. Shen Yuan sighed and thought that Shen Chenfeng was not giving up. He took out a jade bottle from his pocket and said, according to clan rules, anyone who awakens their martial soul can receive rewards from the family. Here are ten qi in blood pills, please accept them for now. Okay. Shen Chenfeng nodded at Shen Yuan, then turned around and left. Looking at Shen Chenfeng's departing figure, Shen Lang's eyes were red and his face was slightly fierce. He muttered to himself, Shen Chenfeng, you wait for me. I, Shen Lang, will never let you go. Chapter 7 800 Years Later You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After bidding farewell to Su Lingyun, Shen Chenfeng walked from here to the southwest corner of the Shen family, in front of a three story attic. Library. This is an important place of the Shen family, which houses all the martial arts, techniques, and classics of the Shen family. Only formal disciples who have awakened their martial souls are allowed to enter. Shen Chenfeng walked into the library and didn't stop much, heading straight to the third floor. In his previous life, he dominated the world and achieved unparalleled cultivation, naturally disdaining the low-dot-level martial arts and techniques of the Shen family. However, there are some things that he must figure out. Soon, Shen Chenfeng found what he wanted on the third shelf. He flipped through the content above, his eyes neutral and he became furious. Eight hundred years ago, the demon emperor caused chaos throughout the world, causing great suffering and suffering for the people. Li Muyu, a genius of the human race, gathered all the heroes of the world to resist and sweep through the eight wildernesses and six harmonies with her delicate body. After ten years, she overthrew the rule of the demon emperor, wiped out various feudal lords, unified the Linggu continent, established the Holy Glory Empire, and proclaimed herself the Fenghua Empress. Click. Shen Chenfeng suddenly crushed the book in his hand, and a raging anger rose in his eyes. What a goodly Muyu! While he was crossing the Calamity, he colluded with strong forces from outside the region to launch a surprise attack, causing him to die tragically in the Heavenly Calamity. After his death, he dared to tamper with history and stir up trouble. Describing him as the Grand Emperor of the Human Race, Tianjiao, as a great demon who causes chaos to the world. What a cruel thought! I see you as the love of my life but you are so ruthless that you won't even let me go after death. However, fate is unpredictable. Eight hundred years later, Shen Chenfeng was reborn. Li Muyu, you despicable person. I regard you as my lifelong love, wholeheartedly. But you use my feelings for you to secretly harm my life, take everything from me, and slander me as a great demon that causes trouble to the world. Ha ha ha, so ruthless, you're really ruthless. However, you didn't expect that I, Shen Chenfeng, had returned. Shen Chenfeng clenched his fist tightly, gritted his teeth until they creaked, and said in a resentful voice, In this life, I will make you lose your reputation and repay your debts with blood. Shen Chenfeng let out a roar and slowly released his fist, his face feeling a bit depressed. Now his Dantian has been destroyed and his cultivation has been abolished. Even Princess Daki Lin Wanner couldn't handle it, let alone that slut Li Muyu. The matter of revenge can be temporarily postponed. I'll repair the Dantian first. 
Shen Chen Feng took a deep breath and turned to leave the library. Qingzhou City is bustling with people coming and going. Today, Shen Chen Feng awakened his heavenly level martial soul and caused a stir in the entire city, triggering a celestial anomaly. But as the news of Shen Chen Feng's Dan Tian being destroyed and unable to cultivate spread, it became a laughing stock. Oh, isn't this the strongest waste in our Qingzhou city? There is a heavenly level martial soul in the air, but it cannot be cultivated or used for its power. It is indeed the strongest among waste. Even a useless person can awaken a heavenly level martial soul, but I can't even awaken my martial soul. God really doesn't have eyes. Shen Chen Feng walked early on the street, listening to the mocking sounds around him, feeling as calm as water. Laugh. Let's make you laugh enough first. When I am Shen Chen Feng repairing the Dantian and stepping back on the martial arts path, I see who else dares to laugh at me. However, repairing Dan Tian is not an easy task. The most direct method is the warm pulse pill. This is the most popular spiritual pill in ancient times. It can not only repair the Dan Tian, but also warm and nourish the meridians. It is the best pill for strengthening the foundation and nourishing the essence. In the previous life, Shen Chen Feng was the great emperor of the human race. Not only is swordsmanship unparalleled, but also cultivation unparalleled. He also has deep expertise in alchemy, formations, weapons, spells, and other aspects. It is not difficult to refine a warm pulse pill. However, the spiritual medicine required for one Maidan is extremely precious. At least with Shen Chenfeng's current financial resources, he cannot afford to buy a single spiritual medicine. Wealth and land are essential for cultivation. Among them, money ranks first. Without financial resources, it is simply absurd to aspire to become an unparalleled powerhouse. Shen Chenfeng frowned. In his previous life, he searched for the rare treasures of the entire Linggu continent and built countless treasure troves, never troubled by financial matters. Unexpectedly, after reincarnation and rebirth, I was stumped by a small warm pulse pill. But soon, Shen Chen Feng came up with a solution. He first pondered, then put on a black robe, covering his face, and walked into a seemingly powerful shop on the street. Just as I walked into the shop, a servant greeted me. Without waiting for the servant to speak, Shen Chen Feng waved his hand and changed his voice. A big man-like voice came out, saying, Go and call your shopkeeper. The servant dared not neglect, turned around and ran into the inner hall. Not long after, a middle-aged man wearing a green shirt walked out. He glanced at Shen Chen Feng twice, unable to determine the depth, and bowed his hand in a friendly manner, saying, This guest, I am Chen Shengen, the president of the Sifang Chamber of Commerce. I don't know objectively what I want to buy. I'm here today and won't buy anything. Shen Chen Feng shook his head and said, However, I have a yellow level martial arts book in my hand. Do you accept it? At first, Chen Shengen's face was a bit gloomy, thinking that Shen Chen Feng was here to cause trouble. But upon hearing it from behind, his eyes immediately lit up and he said, Are you serious about this? Shen Chen Feng was too lazy to talk nonsense and directly took out a book from his pocket and threw it over. This is what he just wrote, called Spirit Snake Fist, which is quite powerful. It is indeed a martial arts skill. Chen Shengen is also a martial arts master in the true martial arts realm. He opened a book and recognized the truth at a glance. Martial arts is the use of special methods to unleash the power of the body in multiple ways. According to its power, it is divided into four levels. Heaven and Earth Xian Huang, with each level divided into three levels. Upper, middle, and lower. The higher the level, the greater the power, and the higher the requirements. In peripheral small towns like Qingzhou City, martial arts are very rare. Although this spirit snake fist is only at the lower level of yellow, its moves are mysterious and its power is impressive. If practiced to the extreme, it is enough to be comparable to the martial arts skills of the yellow level intermediate. This is a good thing. 
Chen Shenyan was tempted to buy a martial arts book equivalent to a mid-level yellow grade with the money from a lower-level yellow grade. But he shook his head and put down his spirit snake fist, saying, I'm sorry, sir. Our Four Directions Chamber of Commerce does not accept martial arts skills, but we can help you consignment them. However, we need to charge a commission of 10%. Do you think it's okay? Sure. After thinking for a moment, Shen Chen Feng nodded and agreed. Just then, a wave of curses suddenly came from outside the Chamber of Commerce. That trash, how could it humiliate me so much? I, Shen Lang, am incompatible with that useless person. Shen Lang walked into the Sifang Chamber of Commerce, cursing and cursing, and several guards following him quickly moved chairs and poured tea for him. Fifth young master, welcome to visit. Chen Shengyan gave Shen Chen Feng an apologetic look and quickly met Shen Lang, saying, I don't know who made the fifth young master so angry. Who else can it be? It's not Shen Chen Feng, that useless person. When Shen Chen Feng was mentioned, Shen Lang was filled with anger. So he waved his hand and changed the topic, saying, Manager Chen, do you have anything that can enhance your combat effectiveness in the four chambers of commerce? Chapter 8 Spirit Snake Fist You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Fifth Young Master, it's really a coincidence that you came. Chen Shengyan's eyes lit up and he said, To be honest, I happen to have a martial arts book in my hand that can enhance your combat power. Oh. Shen Lang took a sip of his tea and said, What level of martial arts skill is it? Chen Shengyan, like a sacrificial treasure, took out the spirit snake fist and said mysteriously, Fifth young master, to be honest with you. Although this spirit snake fist is a yellow level lower grade, its power is comparable to that of a yellow level middle grade. This is a secret treasure of our Sifang Chamber of Commerce, and I will never sell it to an ordinary person. Yellow grade medium grade. Shen Lang took the spirit snake fist and looked extremely tempted. This spirit snake fist is indeed very exquisite, which can enhance the speed of warriors and unleash extremely strong power. The last time he lost to Shen Chen Feng was because his speed was not as fast as a human, which was why he was defeated by Shen Chen Feng. If one can cultivate this type of martial arts skill and make up for the shortcomings in speed. Shen Chen Feng, how can he be his opponent? Thinking of this, Shen Lang gritted his teeth and said, Manager Chen, I don't know how to sell this martial arts book. This martial arts book has exquisite moves and powerful power, which can be comparable to a yellow level intermediate, and its price is naturally not cheap. Chen Xingyan rubbed his hands and said with a smile, however, Wu Gongzi is a regular customer of our Sifang Chamber of Commerce. I will never make it expensive for you. All right. I'll sell you this spirit snake fist for ten gold leaves. What do you think? Within the territory of the Great Qi Kingdom, willow leaves made of gold and silver are the official currency. Among them, one golden leaf is equivalent to ten silver leaves. A silver leaf is equivalent to ten copper leaves. Ten golden leaves are the normal price for lower level martial arts skills at the yellow level, and what Chen Xingyan wants is not too expensive. But before Shen Lang could speak, a rough and wild voice came from beside him, saying, Manager Chen, this martial arts book, Eleven Golden Leaves, I'll take it. Upon hearing these words, Chen Shengyan was slightly stunned. Shen Lang looked at Shen Chen Feng, who was shrouded in a black robe, and said with a gloomy expression, This friend, I am the fifth young master of the Shen family. How dare you rob me of something? I have long heard that the Shen family is the first aristocratic family in Qingzhou city, with a wealth of thousands, and the fifth prince is even more extravagant. Shen Chen Feng deliberately pretended to be deep and said, however, this martial arts skill is also very important to me. Please cede your love to me, fifth young master. I don't care how important this martial arts skill is to you. But in this Qingzhou city, no one dares to snatch things from me. Shen Lang. Shen Lang's temper also rose and he waved his hand directly, saying, I'll buy twelve golden leaves. Thirteen. 
Shen Chen Feng remained calm and deliberately raised his voice. This time, the guests of the entire Sifang Chamber of Commerce were attracted by the sound of their arguments. What's going on? Ha ha ha, there's a good show now. There's someone who doesn't have long eyes and dares to grab things with the young master of the Shen family. Do you want me to say, this is an outsider, right? The Shen family is the number one aristocratic family in Qingzhou City, and Shen Lang is also the number one playboy in the Shen family. Daring to compete with Shen Lang for things seems to be getting impatient. Upon hearing the voices around him, Shen Lang became even more proud and directly increased the price to 15 gold leaves. He he, the Shen family is truly the top family in Qingzhou City, and indeed has a wealth of wealth and strength. Shen Chen Feng gave a cold smile and said, however, this martial arts skill has great power. Although it is a lower grade of the yellow level, its power is comparable to that of the middle grade of the yellow level. I will definitely win it today. Speaking, Shen Chen Feng raised his right hand and said, 20 golden leaves. Boom. Everyone's heart trembled fiercely. Yellow grade lower grade, but comparable to yellow grade middle grade. What does this represent? This type of martial arts technique only has the cultivation difficulty of a yellow level lower grade, but can unleash the power of a yellow level middle grade. Such martial arts skills are simply top dot notch. No wonder this outsider is willing to offend the Shen family and even negotiate with Shen Lang. Manager Chen, with such excellent martial arts skills, you only sell them to the young master of the Shen family. What exactly does this mean? 21 golden leaves, I'll take this martial arts book. 25 golden leaves, I am the captain of the city defense army. Who among you dares to compete with me? The warriors who were just full of mockery immediately shouted with red eyes. Martial arts skills are the foundation of a warrior's character. A good martial arts skill is enough to exponentially enhance a warrior's combat power. If it were ordinary martial arts skills, those warriors would not compete with Shen Lang for the sake of the Shen family's face. But that's a martial arts book that can be compared to a yellow level intermediate. You should know that in small places like Qingzhou City, martial arts are already very rare. The martial arts skills of the yellow grade are even more accessible than sought after. Even the weakest yellow level mid level martial arts skills can be hyped up to the sky high price of hundreds of golden leaves. At this moment, a martial arts book that is comparable to a mid level yellow grade is only selling a few dozen golden leaves. Who is not tempted, and who is not envious? For a moment, countless warriors participated in the competition. The price of Ling Shi Fist was quickly fried to 50 golden leaves. 60 gold leaves. I'll buy them. Seeing the price getting higher and higher, Shen Lang gritted his teeth. But Shen Chen Feng sneered and deliberately raised his voice, saying, 70 golden leaves, brothers. This martial arts skill is really important to me. Please give me face. Damn it, it's important to you, isn't it important to me? 71 golden leaves, I'll take this martial arts book. 75 pieces, this is my final price. If anyone wants to compete with me again, don't blame me for being impolite. Driven by Shin Chin Feng, the crowd began to bid again. That's enough. Shen Lang finally couldn't help but slapped the table and said, A hundred golden leaves, I think anyone else dares to compete with me. Upon hearing this, everyone instantly fell silent. A hundred golden leaves are enough to buy a true yellow level intermediate level martial arts book. Why, are you still fighting me? Seeing no one making a sound, Shen Lang turned around and looked at Shen Chen Feng with a fierce expression in his eyes. These one hundred golden leaves are all his property. However, for the dignity of the Shen family and to be able to defeat Shen Chen Feng, he didn't care about anything. The Shen family is truly the first family in Qingzhou City, and I deeply admire them. Shen Chen Feng pretended to be indecisive, but in the end, he shook his head and said, This martial arts skill belongs to young Master Shen. Shen Lang's heart secretly dripped with blood. 
Everything that could have been bought with ten golden leaves was forcibly carried up to hundreds of golden leaves by this black-clothed man. However, he still showed a haughty expression and said coldly, Dare to fight against our Shen family, you're a bit too young. As he spoke, Shen Lang dropped a hundred golden leaves and picked up his spirit snake fist. With the support of several guards, he confidently left the Sifang Chamber of Commerce. The Shen family is indeed wealthy and strong. Hee hee, it's just pity for this outsider. What was supposed to be a must-have, but Shen Lang accidentally kicked it, probably driving me crazy, right? Amidst the laughter of the surrounding warriors, only Chen Shengen remained stunned and still couldn't believe what had just happened. Is there still such an operation? A yellow level lower level martial arts skill was unexpectedly hyped up by Shen Chen Feng at the price of a yellow level intermediate level martial arts skill. Others may not know, but Chen Shengen is very clear about it. That martial arts book was originally written by Shen Chen Feng. How could he be pitiful? How could he get mad with anger? I'm afraid that Shen Chenfeng's heart had already gone crazy with joy at this moment. Chapter 9 To practice divine skills, one must first go to the palace. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chen Shengen's guess was correct, and Shen Chenfeng was indeed overjoyed in his heart. Originally, the price of this martial arts book could only be purchased from the materials of the warm pulse pill. But by ruthlessly killing Shen Lang, he even had the materials for cultivation. I have been in business for decades and think I have some tricks. But today when compared to the guest, I am like a frog in a well, which really broadens my horizons. Chen Shengen took out ninety golden leaves and said sincerely, my guest must also be a businessman. I deeply admire you. Manager Chen misunderstood. I am not a businessman. Shen Chenfeng shook his head and handed ninety golden leaves to Chen Shengen, saying, Next, I have something else to do. I need to trouble manager Chen. I don't know if the guest has any instructions, but it's okay to say so. Shen Chenfeng took out a pen and paper, wrote down a few spiritual medicines, and said, This is the spiritual medicine I need. Also, if I remember correctly, your four party chambers of commerce should have alchemy rooms for rent, right? Not bad. Chen Shengen took the white paper and looked at the spiritual medicine written on it with a respectful look, saying, Sir, are you still an alchemist? I guess so. Shen Chen Feng casually responded and, led by Chen Shengen, walked into an alchemy room. Three hours later, Shen Chen Feng walked out of the alchemist with satisfaction. Chen Xingyan had been waiting on the side for a long time. When he saw Shen Chenfeng coming out, he quickly handed over a token and said, Sir, this is the VIP token of our Sifang Chamber of Commerce. As long as you hold the token, you can enjoy a 30% discount at the Sifang Chamber of Commerce. And no matter what you sell on consignment, we don't charge any commission anymore. Thank you very much, Manager Chen. Shen Chenfeng collected the token and turned around before leaving. Until Shen Chenfeng's figure completely disappeared, the door of another alchemy room suddenly opened, and a thin old man and a girl wearing a veil walked out. Although the woman's face cannot be clearly seen, her figure is graceful and curvaceous, arousing countless imagination. Miss, Elder, you have left the border. Chen Shengen quickly welcomed him and said, So, have you succeeded in alchemy? It's done. The old man couldn't help but smile and said, Thanks to the guidance of the young lady this time, otherwise I wouldn't have easily refined the five chi pill and become a second level alchemist. The elder praised falsely. The woman's voice was gentle and pleasant, and she said, Manager Chen, you usually manage a lot of things every day. Why are you free today to pick me up with elderly? Miss, you misunderstood me. I didn't greet you, but just saw off an extraordinary person. Chen Shengen quickly revealed what had just happened, which surprised both elderly and the girl. This person took advantage of Shen Lang's competitive mentality, causing a frenzy in intentionally raising prices. He is indeed a skilled businessman. The girl nodded, her eyes flickering with a hint of energy, and said, 
and you said, he's still an alchemist. I can't be wrong. Chen Shengen quickly handed over the white paper left by Xin Chenfeng and said, this is the spiritual medicine that that person just purchased. This. Elderly took the white paper and was initially somewhat disdainful. Alchemist, of noble status. Not to mention Qingzhou City, there are not many in the entire Daki Kingdom. He originally thought that the other party was just an alchemy apprentice, which was somewhat exaggerated by Chen Shengen. Unexpectedly, upon seeing the elixir written on the white paper, he immediately changed his face and said excitedly, Miss, look at it. The woman took the white paper and couldn't help but widen her eyes, saying, Warm Pulse Pill. Not bad, it's the lost Warm Pulse Pill. Elder Li's tone was firm, and the Sifang Chamber of Commerce had collected countless lost elixirs, among which the Warm Pulse Pill was one. Although the elixir is complete, it has lost the technique of alchemy. Elderly happened to have seen the prescription of one Maidan, so he was very certain that the spiritual medicine written on this blank paper must be the legendary one Maidan. Mississippi Elderly took a deep breath and said, if this person can really refine the legendary warm pulse pill, maybe you have a glimmer of hope and can step into the martial arts world. The girl's breathing gradually became rapid and she said, where was that person just now? Miss, please don't be impatient. I'll go chase after you now. Chen Shengen immediately reacted and rushed out of the Sifang Chamber of Commerce with two servants. At the same time, Shen Chenfeng has returned to the Shen family and started practicing in seclusion. When I am reborn and returning, I naturally need to cultivate the strongest martial arts techniques, master the strongest martial arts skills, and make up for all the regrets in my previous cultivation before I can take control of the universe and fight against Li Muyu. However, this body is too weak to withstand the violent power of heavenly level techniques. Shen Chenfeng sat cross-legged on the ground, his eyes shining brightly. To cultivate divine skills, one must first go to the palace. It seems that this is the only way. Shen Chenfeng murmured, then picked up the wooden stick next to him and struck him hard. Bang bang. In the muffled sound, Shen Chenfeng endured the pain and shattered all the meridians on his body. After finishing all of this, he took out a warm pulse pill and swallowed it with his head up. Boom. The surging spiritual energy immediately turned into a warm current, wading into all four limbs. It's like soaking in a hot spring, and the pores all over the body relax comfortably. However, after feeling comfortable, Shen Chenfeng lifted his wooden stick again and shattered all of his Dantian and Meridians. When he takes the warm pulse pill again, the reshaped Dantian and Meridians are wider and more resilient than before. To cultivate divine skills, one must first go to the palace. This is the most common way of cultivation in ancient times, and it is also the true usage of the warm pulse pill. Only when your body, meridians, and physique are strong enough can you cultivate higher dot level martial arts and master stronger martial arts skills. Otherwise, the foundation will be unstable and the building will tilt. After repeating this nine times, Shen Chenfeng's Dantian and meridians expanded more than ten times, and were tinged with a faint golden color, like a copper wall and an iron wall. With my current body, I should be able to barely withstand the first layer of the Nine Heavens Tai Xian Jing. Shen Chenfeng silently recited and began to silently cultivate. Between heaven and earth, no matter what cultivation method is used, according to its power, the techniques can be divided into four levels. Heaven, earth, black, and yellow. Each level is further divided into three levels. Upper, middle, and lower. The higher the level of the cultivation technique, the stronger its power, and the more difficult it is to cultivate. Even some martial arts require extremely strict requirements, and only martial artists with special constitutions can meet the requirements for cultivation. The Nine Heavens Tai Xian Jing practiced by Xin Chenfeng is the most top-notch technique passed down from ancient times, ranking among the highest level in the sky, with extremely terrifying power. Once cultivated, the surrounding spiritual energy immediately becomes restless. Boom! 
With a soft sound, the spiritual energy in the entire room instantly exploded, turning into little spiritual light and throwing it into Shen Chenfeng's body. Immediately outside the room, as well as the spiritual energy of the entire Shen family, swept towards Shen Chenfeng. Three days later, Shen Chenfeng suddenly opened his eyes and his gaze shot out like a sharp sword. He clenched his fist tightly and felt an incredibly terrifying force gathering in his palm. The third level of Kaiyuan realm. Shen Chenfeng shook his head, feeling not very satisfied. He muttered to himself, although the Nine Heavens Tai Xian Jing has terrifying power, it requires dozens of times more spiritual energy than ordinary martial arts. With only this kind of cultivation, when can we catch up with Li Muyu? Just as Shen Chenfeng was pondering whether to go to the Sifang Chamber of Commerce again. Suddenly. A roar of anger came from outside the door. Shen Chenfeng, you trash, get out of here. Chapter 10 This is what you brought on yourself. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shen Lang, what do you want to do again? Outside, Su Lingyun opened his arms and stood in front of Shen Lang and the others. Madam, this Shuiyun Pavilion is the best house in the entire Shen family. Only the strongest warrior is eligible to live in it. A few days without seeing each other, Shen Lang's momentum became even more calm. He led several guards with a cold and proud expression, saying, before, Shen Chenfeng was the first genius in Qingzhou City, and no one dared to say anything when he lived here. But now, his cultivation has been abolished, his elixir field has been destroyed, and he is no longer qualified to live here. Su Lingyun gritted his silver teeth tightly and said, Are you trying to drive us out of the Shen family again? Ha ha ha, Shen Chenfeng awakens his martial soul. According to clan rules, he will not be expelled from the family. Shen Lang shook his head and said, however, he is no longer qualified to live in this Shuiyun pavilion. I have already arranged a room for you in the West Wing, and please move out as soon as possible. Upon hearing these words, Su Lingyun's face slightly changed. Shi Xiang, that is a place for the servants of the Shen family to live. Shen Lang, stay on the front line in life. Isn't it a bit too extreme for you to do this? Su Lingyun's face was gloomy, and the thought of Shen Chenfeng living in the dirty and messy environment of the West Wing was even more uncomfortable than killing her. The Shen family values martial arts. Shen Lang snorted coldly and said, Madam, don't blame me for doing things too well. If you want to blame me, you can only blame your son for not being good. He has become a waste now and deserves to be bullied. Get out of my way. Shen Lang let out a roar and slapped his palm towards Su Lingyun's chest. With this palm, the wind blew and his momentum became condensed, much stronger than a few days ago. Three Levels of Kaiyuan Realm Shen Lang, surprisingly broke through. He has been trapped on the second floor of the Kaiyuan Realm for more than half a year, and I don't know what kind of adventure he got. Surprisingly, he broke through so quickly. Following the lively disciples of the Shen family, no one cared about Su Lingyun's safety, but instead talked about Shen Lang's strength. Seeing this fierce palm, it was about to strike Su Lingyun's chest. Suddenly. Boom. The door of Shu Yangshuan suddenly cracked open, and a figure like lightning instantly blocked Su Lingyun's face. Bang. Shen Lang slapped the person on the chest, feeling the impact on the steel plate, which made his arms tingle. He instinctively took a step back and looked at the figure in front of him, sneering, Shen Chen Feng, I thought you were going to be a shrinking turtle for a lifetime, but I didn't expect you to come out. Shen Lang, last time for the sake of my mother's face, I spared you from dying. This time, you don't know how to repent and dare to take action against my mother. Shen Chen Feng's face was gloomy and terrifying, with a chilling killing intent flashing in his eyes. He said, Do you think I really dare not kill you? Parents are Shen Chenfeng's only weakness. Shen Lang's attack on Su Lingyun violated Shen Chenfeng's bottom line. At this moment, he really had a murderous heart. Feng Er, forget it, anyway, mom is fine. 
Su Lingyun was afraid of causing trouble and quickly grabbed Shen Chenfeng's sleeve. But Shen Lang didn't want to give up like this and said in a resentful voice, Shen Chenfeng, I only gave you two moves last time. Do you really think you're stronger than me? How dare you falsely claim to kill me? Ha ha, you did come. I actually want to see, you trash, why do you kill me? Looking at Shen Lang's arrogant expression, Shen Chenfeng's heart surged with killing intent. The Heavenly Sky Sword Emperor has never suffered such humiliation. But Su Lingyun grabbed his sleeve from the side, constantly pleading. Why didn't you speak? Seeing Shen Chenfeng not speaking, Shen Lang thought the other person was afraid and said more recklessly, In the past, I asked myself if I wasn't your opponent. But now, you are just a waste. A garbage with ruined cultivation and abandoned elixir fields. As he spoke, Shen Lang leaned forward and said, And your mother, giving birth to such a useless person like you is also garbage. Boom! Shen Chenfeng suddenly opened his eyes and exuded a surging aura throughout his body. For the sake of his mother, he can hold back. But if you dare to humiliate my mother, no one can do it. Shen Lang, this is what you asked for yourself. Shen Chenfeng's eyes flashed with a cold light, and he took a step forward with a fierce right punch. Shen Lang sneered and also waved his fist. Bang! Two fists colliding. The expression on Shen Lang's face instantly froze, and then his body flew out like a cannon barrel. Holy crap, how could this be possible? Shen Lang has already been promoted to the third level of the Kaiyuan realm, how can he still be defeated by Shen Chen Feng? Seeing this scene, the surrounding crowd instantly widened their eyes. The realm of martial arts is divided into four major realms. Kaiyuan, Wufu, Jinwu, and Lingxu. Each realm is divided into nine levels. Among them, martial artists in the Kaiyuan realm can open up internal energy channels. Every time a Yuan meridian is opened up, it can add a hundred pounds of tremendous strength. In the past, Shen Lang was lax in cultivation and only had the strength of the second level of the Kaiyuan realm. His strength was only slightly stronger than that of ordinary people, so it is understandable that he was defeated by Shen Chen's style. But now, he has been promoted to the third level of the Kaiyuan realm and can be considered a true warrior. Despite this, he still lost to Shen Chenfeng. How could this be possible? Shen Chenfeng, you bastard. Shen Lang was also angered. He jumped up from the ground and threw a punch into the air. Get lost. Shen Chenfeng sneered and punched again. Bang. Shen Lang screamed in agony and flew backwards, while Shen Chenfeng remained in a punching position, his body motionless. At this moment, everyone was stunned. This is more than just a defeat. It's just crushing. Shen Lang, who had already been promoted to the third level of the Kaiyuan realm, was completely crushed by Shen Chenfeng. Why is this trash so powerful? It's not that he's powerful, but that Shen Lang is too useless. At least he used to be a master in the true martial arts realm, defeating Shen Lang is nothing. The surrounding crowd began to discuss again, but the voice had already decreased significantly. Shen Chenfeng ignored the surrounding discussions and walked slowly to Shen Lang, saying coldly, Shen Lang, with my current strength, I wonder if I can kill you. If you want to kill me, you're not qualified enough. Take it to death. Shen Lang wiped away the blood stains from the corners of his mouth, then let out a roar and suddenly erupted. He was extremely fast, leaving behind shadows in the air. His arm was like a spirit snake, fiercely killing him from an extremely tricky angle. All of this caught everyone off guard. When people reacted, Shen Lang's palm carried a fierce breath and had already killed Shen Chen Feng. This is Martial Arts I have long heard that Shen Lang spent a lot of money buying a martial arts book at the Sifang Chamber of Commerce a few days ago. Unexpectedly, he trained him into it. Undoubtedly, it is a martial arts skill equivalent to a yellow-level intermediate, and its power is indeed impressive. 
not to mention Shen Shen Feng, even I couldn't take this sudden punch. Seeing Shen Lang demonstrate his martial arts skills, everyone thought the big picture had been decided. At this moment, Shen Chen Feng sneered and said, Today I'll ask you to see what true martial arts are. 